Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Now, I've taken an order already, I took one off the phone, and if you remember last week, I decided that what I would like to do, before we just take a look at that vehicle, I'll just give a quick recap. In here, I want this. I want to be able to unlock the second lifter in here so we can get our own do a fixer-upper car that we're working on. And we can put it in here, we can sort of stay in here permanently while we sort of work on it. And then when we've got a bit of spare cash, we can throw a piece on there. It'll make life a lot easier. So we need to level up to level 12. We're level 9 at the moment. So shouldn't be too difficult, I hope. This particular job is just a loud exhaust. It's quite a simple one. Car status, loud exhaust. Now we've got two parts not discovered, but it shouldn't be very difficult to do that. So even though it doesn't have a list, it should be alright. And we get an XP bonus with this one as well. So let's get this one, first of all, onto... Uh, where do we want to go? We want to move it. Move the car, and we'll get it over onto the lifter. And let's get it up into the air and take a look. Now, it should be pretty simple. Loud exhaust, there's only so many places that you can have a loud exhaust issue. So we'll lift it right up in the air first and we'll go back through, look at the mufflers. Whoa, there's two. Okay. I wasn't actually expecting that. So we've got two exhausts back here. Um, what's that there? Oh, that's the drive shaft, so it's not that. And at, the one thing I love about this game is generally anything that is deteriorated is really rusty. So we've got a piece there and a piece there. By the look of it, it's those two. Uh, to remove them, well, if we go to exhaust like this, and, right, well, we can't take that off. I, I want to try and get a bit closer. Let's, let's go over here, and can I get, uh, there we go, that's the one that I want. Front exhaust pipe, front exhaust pipe, and it, literally, that's it, I think. I don't think there is anything else at all. We've got front exhaust pipe B. Now, I've just pressed T. It's going to take you a little while. The first time that you go to the shop um, whenever you play this game, it does take a little bit longer the very first time. So we want front exhaust. Uh, I don't know if there... Was it V8? OHVB? V8? Ooh. Uh, mm, I don't actually know. Okay, there's an easy way to find out. We go to car status, and there we go. So it's just front exhaust pipe B, V8. Um, there. Front exhaust pipe. Front exhaust pipe, front exhaust pipe V8B. Um, okay, th that looks different. I'm sure it's that one. I'm sure that there isn't another one. Front exhaust section. Nope. Front exhaust section. And it just says sex front exhaust section. No, so it's not that. Front exhaust. Oh, there. That one. Front exhaust pipe B. So I'm looking here and it's saying front exhaust pipe V8. B there and so that's what was throwing me but it's this one here front exhaust pipe B that one there we want two of those so let's get that one and go there we go come out of there and that should be both of them so we just go straight into part mount mode we put that one on there's nothing even to undo on this we can literally just do it like that there we go and we come out from under here we come out from the side and lower it back down again while that's just dropping down to its lower position, let's just go to the bench a minute and see if we can repair those. No, we can't. We've got a gearbox and a water pump and a power steering pump that we could potentially repair here. And we could make a load of money. 75% chance. I think we're just going to hold those items until such time as we've got a better repair chance. Because I think we could end up making more money out of it. I think that would be the best option. So, that one's down. That literally took seconds. That literally took seconds. It didn't it hardly took any time at all. All done. Total payout, job bonus, finish order. There we go. So, achievement unlocked, more experience. That's 3848. We need another 300 XP just to get to level 10. So, let's go straight on to the next order. What do we got? This one, brake system needs fixing, loud exhaust list provided. That's a money bonus. Money bonus is good. No bonus there, no bonus there. All right. So, um Oh, we've just lost one of them. Oh, that was actually the one with the money bonus. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Uh, this was knocking sound from suspension list provided. Minimal parts condition 43%. That's not very much. There's a new order here. No bonus again. Um, all right, let's just go with this one here. This is another exhaust. Loud when accelerating. That's an exhaust problem. So we'll take that order. This will be another really fast one. The exhaust ones are probably the easiest ones, I reckon, because you haven't got to take the wheels off or anything like that. So we go to here, car status, and exhaust manifold. Okay, easy enough. Let's move that one onto the car lifter A over there. Then we can come round and start getting it up onto the lifter. 
while it's going up into the air. Oop, no, it doesn't actually let you do it while it's going up into the air. You've got to wait for it to stop. So exhaust manifold I4B, front exhaust section A, I4B. So we sh both of them are I4B. Exhaust manifold, front exhaust section. Uh, right, front exhaust section I4B. No, not B, just front exhaust set I6, I6B, I4, uh, front exhaust section B. I want. I just want plain front exhaust section, and then it said I four B. Why do they have to make this so complicated? No, 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 no. Uh, front section, front exhaust pipe B. Front exhaust pipe. Really, does it have to be this difficult? Right, there's front exhaust section B I four B. Is that the one that I need then? I thought it was like that. That's I six. Uh, okay, let's go exhaust manifold. We can get that one. If I go manifold like that, I can get the exhaust manifold. Just, ex oh, hang on a minute. Wasn't that one also an I4B? I think that one was. So exhaust manifold I4B. There. I'm going for it. I'm, I'm going to commit. I'm going to I'm going to commit even though it's probably the wrong one. Exhaust manifold I4B. Front exhaust section A I4B. Right. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Front exhaust section A now we can do it. So if I go exhaust, no. Um, see what? Let's just go here. Front exhaust section. Front exhaust A. So what I'm looking for, front exhaust section A or front exhaust A. I f there we go. Front exhaust section A. I still don't think that's the right one. I don't think it said section, did it? Did it say section or not? Uh, front exhaust pipe. No, it definitely didn't say pipe. Front exhaust pipe. No, front exhaust pipe. Front exhaust... Se it was just front exhaust section. That's I4B, but it was front exhaust section A, wasn't it? Front exhaust section A. I4B, there. Right, uh, yeah, but I don't think... I don't... I'm sure it didn't say section. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've got confused. I've confused myself on this issue now. Why can't you just have a little button here where you can click to buy the thing rather than having to do it like this? It's, it would be so much easier. It really would. Right. So the exhaust manifold, anyway, I do remember that one is in here. So if we take a look at the engine, exhaust manifold, that one. Uh, oh, hang on. So we've got to take that one off first. Okay, this car looks rather complicated inside. I don't know why they're trusting me with a vehicle like this. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't trust me with a vehicle like this, so I don't know why anybody else would. It just, it just seems bizarre. <laughs> you, you really shouldn't. You, you're probably going to regret it. Right, that one. Intake manifold. Uh, was that the one that I needed to take? Oh, no. I've, I've, took, I've taken the wrong one off. Okay, uh, part mount. I, I didn't think uh, intake manifold. It's not the intake manifold that we're supposed to be fixing. It's the, 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 um, the other one. I can't, remember. I can't even remember what it's called now. Um, this this shows you just how much I know about these vehicles, about any vehicle really. I'm, I'm just not, I'm, I'm not a mechanic. I never will be, and I can I can accept that. I, I can live with this. It's something that I've learned to accept, and I've I've moved on from it. So it's it's time everybody else did as well. Um, fortunately for garages around near where I live, I don't mend my own cars. I let them do it. I give them lots of money, and then they do it for me. So I don't have to do it. I never have to get involved. Um, and we want that. Oh you, oh, you can only get that. So we've got to get it up onto the lifter to do that bit. So if we go here, and we go to switch over to part mount, and then we can put the new one on here that we've just got and bought. Put that one in. And a whole load of bolts here. Right, so that's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. We can put all of those in like that. And the last one. Right, now we come out of here like that. I'll uh, put the boot down, put the hood down rather, the bonnet down, and we lift it right up and then we can nip in underneath and we can grab this last piece, which is right under here. If I go like that and then front exhaust section and then part mount and put it back on. You know it was a lot easier to actually do the job than it was to buy the parts. Buying the parts was probably the most complicated part of this whole um, task here that we've just completed but anyway it's now done so we can just lower that one back down all the way to the floor and it should say congratulations well done you're marvelous there we go you are marvelous $280 and on to the next one what else have we got Ooh, right so this one here 
Repair all gearbox faults. Gears keep slipping. Gearbox shifts rough. Controlling car feels loose. Well, that is going to have a large number of bits that need done. 64%. Um, right, what's this one up here? Brake system needs fixing. Driver struggling to find gears. Transmission not responsive. Right, so that's kind of a troubleshooting mission, that is. And I don't really want to do... Ooh, that is long. That's got a lot of stuff. I think we can go for this one. The Bolt Atlanta F Mill. Okay, we'll take that. Let's, hang on, let's just... Well, oh, we can't take that one. Let's just check and see if we've got any experience bonuses. No, we don't. We do have money bonuses. I'm not too worried about those. Right, take this order. Repair with minimal parts condition, 39%. So we don't actually have to repair them all that well. Let's just take a look at what we've got. So, oil filter. Then we've got uh, water pump, water pump pulley, timing chain, cam gear. Uh, flywheel, a whole gearbox, clutch pressure plate, pressure plate. We may be able to re we may be able to repair some of this stuff. So we're going to have to sort of right the gearbox. Um, gearbox shifts rough, but that's again that's that's kind of the clutch and the gearbox. The gearbox again. Um, so I want the, if if I get these items, let's get these stuff these items off first, and then we may be able to run a repair on some of it. So because we've got such a low repair value on it, and look at that, it's got to be 39%. So because of the really low repair value, we may be able to just repair some of these items rather than having to buy new, which is going to save us a lot of money. So let's lift that one up and then take a look. So we want to get that gearbox out as a priority. Uh, what else do we want to get? Oil filter is easy enough and timing so we need the water pump the water pump pulley the timing chain you know what? i'm going to highlight these just to make it a bit easier and then the gearbox itself we've just got to get we've got to get into the gearbox so we've got to take those and that's from underneath the car that we've got to do that so we'll do these bits over here on top of the vehicle first and how do we get these off so we've got to take the radiator fan off first and this radiator might end up being in the way for us we may end up just getting rid of it moving it Right, that's at 54%, so that's fine. And then we want to... That belt there. 46, that's okay. Then the belt there. 55, that one's alright. So water pump pulley, that's at 9%. That needs doing. Uh, the water pump, that was another one that needed doing. Quickly whip those off there. Um, then you've got a timing chain over here. So in order to do the timing chain, we want the crankshaft pulley taken out. That one could come off. And then we need the timing cover. That's got several nuts, uh, bolts rather, all the way around. Take these off. This engine's very different to any of the others that we've seen so far. I quite like the idea that we're having these very different ones. Cam gear as well. That one's got to come out. Uh, I think that's all of it on there. Doesn't look like we've got anything else highlighted. The power steering pump didn't need anything doing. And the alternator didn't need anything doing. So we can come out of there. That's those bits taken off. We'll put the hood down momentarily, and we'll lift this one up in the air. And we've got to get the gearbox out from underneath. Most of this other stuff is to do with the gearbox itself. Um, you know, before we do anything else, let's take this one, move this one over under the car, and drain the oil. So use equipment, drain that oil out like that. There we go. And then we can move that equipment and put it back. So then we can come under this side here. Where's that oil? Where is it? Uh, I think that's the oil filter there. There it is. I6 oil filter. That one's gone. And now we want to come back over here. Right, there's the gearbox. So in order to take the gearbox off, uh, we need to... If I can just click on it. It's going to let me let me do it. It doesn't want to let me do it. Right, there's, some, there's a piece over on that side that's got to come off. That one there, which we've got to do from the top. We can't actually do that from underneath. Well, that's just great. And then you've got the drive shaft. Okay, so the drive shaft can come off. There are some bolts up this end that we've got to remove, like that. And then there are some bolts down this end. You know what? I can actually get them all the way from over here. It's a long way to reach. I've got a very long arm, haven't I? Okay, so we can take that one off there. But then we need to come out from underneath... And in order to take the actual gearbox off, we've got to take this piece off from inside the engine bay. So we'll do that next. And then once we've removed the gearbox, we've got to do the clutch plate and stuff like that as well. So that gearbox there, you've got this starter motor here. Take that one out and that one out. And now the gearbox will come out. So 
we can put that down again lift it back up in the air and we can get in underneath and get the gearbox where is it um let me get to it there we go right and click on it there so there's a load of pieces all the way around a load of a load of pieces a load of nuts all the way around remove all of those right there comes the gearbox so next up we've got the clutch pressure plate um the clutch release bearing that one's 11 percent then the clutch pressure plate it's got a, another series of nuts all the way around bolts rather and then we got the that one was at 10 percent clutch plate 13 percent and the flywheel that was at 14 percent the crankshaft i don't think there's anything wrong with the crankshaft i think that one's fine so we've got all of those bits let's get over to this table and see if we can repair any of them so the gearbox i4 is that the gearbox that we've just taken off i don't think it is actually we move up through here no it's not that radiator fin is fine the drive shaft is fine it's these here now that gearbox is not the one that i just took off that's a different gearbox and the water pump don't think we i don't think those are ones that we took off either starter motor is at 39 percent. that doesn't need to be doing so it looks like the actual gearbox that we need to replace is not fixable we can't we cannot repair that one and that is no not their gearbox right the i6b and the one that we've got on the repair bench is the i4 so no we, can, we can't actually repair anything it looks like we're gonna have to buy the whole lot so we want the i6 gearbox um engine you know what let's just go here and type in gear it should give us the gearboxes there we go gearboxes so we've got the gearbox uh i6b that's the one right there we had the i4 but that's the one that we've taken off so we've got to replace that one and then we're looking at more expensive stuff i'm going to just collect the list of parts a minute and then we can get started with putting everything back on okay we can actually try to repair this water pump this is about the only item that we can try to repair this is the one that we took off this vehicle i didn't realize that so let's try to repair it uh just click here don't we 63 percent. right that's that's good enough that is good enough so we've got a water pump that we can use we go up to here we've got i've just got the oil filter and the water pump we've just repaired then we got the water pump pulley the timing chain in the cam gear right i'll get the rest of this stuff none of the rest of it is stuff that we can repair I think I have everything now. I hope I have everything now anyway. And so to start fixing this, we want to just... Actually, we want to do the stuff from un up underneath first. So we want to go in there. And if I can just move up towards that crankshaft there like this, then we can go to part mount mode. So first of all, we want to put on our brand shiny new flywheel. It wouldn't let us actually repair a flywheel. So we put that one on. Then we're looking at the new clutch plate. And again, that one was a replacement job clutch pressure plate there's another replacement job you can put all of these nuts back in um bolts 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 the nut is the bit that goes on the end of it and then the bolt is the other bit and i i do actually know that i i should i should be able to cope with that um the complexity of that one clutch release bearing that one can go in and then it's the gearbox the actual brand shiny new gearbox itself that one was down to 10 percent the other one was higher than that, so I'm guessing that as we progress, we should be able to repair some of these um, things that are more damaged. I mean, I don't know how that bit works, so we'll, we'll sort of wait and see, see if we can find out what happens with it later on. But it might be that as we get better, we may be able to repair more stuff. So that one there, then I want to go, I don't want to go all the way over to the vintage tyre. Um, what I want to do is I want to go to the drive shaft right there and i want to put it back on so we go to that one and that one is at 42 percent it's 39 percent that we've got to have repaired too so i can put those on we did manage to repair one item which is going to have saved us a little bit of money which is absolutely fantastic because it does mean that uh, we should be able to make a little bit more profit on this job so if we can just lower that one down i mean we didn't save a huge amount of money the water pump wasn't that expensive i think it's like 100 pounds or something uh, dollars rather we're in dollars now we're in dollars um but it was you know it, it did obviously cost some money so let's just put that starter back on that one's at 39 percent which is exactly the condition of the um the limit of the condition that we're allowed to have 
So we'll just bring that up a little bit. There we go. So we can put that water pump on there and put those on. That's the one that we repaired. So whether this repair job is going to be good enough, I don't know. We'll, we, we will wait and see. We want to put the cam gear on there. That's a new one. Put that one in. And then the timing chain. That's a new one as well. You wouldn't expect to be replacing a timing chain. Even even I know that much. You wouldn't expect to be repairing a timing chain. You'd expect to be replacing that with a brand new one. And chains are actually, as from what I've been told, um, and whether this is actually correct information or not, but chains are not as good as belts when it comes to timing. It's better to have a belt and then replace it regularly because a belt will just break, whereas a chain will stretch and you don't realise that the timing is going out and when it is. And Yeah, I mean... I know that chains stretch. I do know that that is actually a thing. Um, so I could very well... I could believe that. I, I can believe that it would actually cause a problem like that. Um, and, yeah. So, it's sort of, sort of a case of waiting to see. Really, can I, I... I can reach this from the top. Look. Look at this. Look. Okay, I can clearly see where it goes. I can clearly reach there. I can just go over the top, but it won't let me put the oil filter on. Um... Okay, so we'll bring this one down and, we go, and we'll lift that one back up. I should have put the oil filter work while we were in underneath anyway, but never mind. We'll do it now. Let's jump up onto there and let's go up to the engine block a little bit. That's the, Oh, I need to be in part mount mode. There we go. Put the new filter on and that's done. Right, now we can come out of here and drop it back down again. So, yeah, I'm 90% certain that that is right. You can't... It, it's better to have a belt than it is a chain um or is is that actually is that right or wrong i know that some of you who watch this series do actually know something about cars far more than i ever could um so let me know is that right or is that wrong have, have i got that right in that uh, um a belt is actually better for timing than a chain right that's about three quarters full or two thirds full of oil i'd say there's probably enough oil it doesn't need too much um we're, we're not a charity here we, we are trying to run a business Oh, no, 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 wrong way, wrong way, come back down. It's going to take too long now. Sacrificing hours of labour just to lift this one up and down like a yo-yo. Right, lower down, and let's just take a quick look and make sure that we have actually done anything. That's all done, that's all done, that's all done, and that's all done. And total payout, 9,532. It's just about, well, I know we had like 11,000, but that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I'm quite pleased with that. Um... 4138 on the XP meter now. So we're actually very, very close to level 10. Let's get on to the next job. What have we got now? Um, I'm deliberately avoiding the story mode for a little while until such time as we've got our own vehicle in here. I'm going to avoid the story mode. So let's just go through and see if there's any bonuses. Uh, no bonuses at the moment. So we'll take this one here is engine power has failed. That might be the battery. I don't know. Uh, this one, repair all engine faults. Car is loud. Right, well, that'll be an exhaust and something wrong with the engine itself. That might be interesting. We'll take that one. The exhaust ones are fairly simple. And then the ones that are actually where you start stripping the engine apart, I'm actually finding those quite interesting. It's, it's, it, it is a little bit more interesting. So we've got fuel rail DI, spark plug, super time belt B, piston ring. Piston rings? That's like deep inside the engine, isn't it? Exhaust manifold, front exhaust section. Okay, let's move the car over onto car lift A. Hmm. I think that we'll do our approach that we did last time. We will strip everything out of the vehicle that we can. And then once we've stripped everything out that um, we can get to, then uh, we'll start seeing if we can replace, uh, repair any of the bits before we do anything else. Oh, there's one thing that we need to check. What have we got? 64% uh, it's got to be repaired to. So we've got the exhaust manifold there. That's at 10%. This is the one that's got loads of bolts all over it. I said bolts. I actually got the right word for once. Just once. It did actually happen. Progress. Frithgar is making genuine progress with this game now. He's learned what a bolt is. Uh, that one's got to be from underneath the vehicle. Okay, that's fine. And so we've got to get to the piston rings. Um, okay, right. I do know that under the ignition coil is spark plugs. And there is a spark plug that has an issue. So... We'll take these off and we'll see if we can sort of, sort of spy it from the top. It doesn't look like we can, so I'm going to remove these spark plugs. 68%, 84%, 13%, there was one that was broken, and 72 right. Um, it normally happens with this game that 
if you don't replace it with the right one we just have to remember which one it was it was it was the second one from the left that needs to have the new one in because if you put them in the wrong order it, it doesn't like it it goes a bit funny for you doesn't it so uh we've got in car stay so a fuel rail di I tell you what rather than me spending ages trying to look for that let's just do that to it and then the serpentine belt and then the piston rings so this is just going to make it a little bit easier for me to find. Well, that one I probably could have. I, I probably could have coped with finding that one. So in order to take that one off, we've got to take off the intake manifold, um, which is the throttle on the side, and then the intake manifold with a load of nut, uh, bolts on there. Oh, I nearly got that one wrong again. Take all of those off down through there. And now we can get to fuel rail DI. Right, that one's out. And then we've got the serpentine belt there nope so we got to go down here and we got to take off the belt tensioner that one's easy enough and then we got to take off that belt there and then serpentine belt b has got to come off okay that one's done next we got to get in here to the piston rings and this is the difficult bit so we go engine head cover and we remove those that should be easy enough to take those out and we still got to lift the car up to do the exhaust piece as well. And now where? It's one in there. Oh, so we got to take the... In order to get that off, you've got to take the camshaft off. This is going to take... This is going to be some doing, this is. So we've got to take that cover off there. Which means that we've got to take off this water pump. In order to get that one off. And then... Oops. Up here. Crankshaft pulley. And the idler roller. That one's got to come out. Now we can take the timing cover off. Remove that one all the way down. We're completely stripping this one out. Then we can take off the timing belt itself. And then we can come up to the top and we remove the cam gear. And another cam gear. Then we can remove the camshaft. That one will slide out. And that camshaft as well. Then we can remove the engine head. The actual engine head. This, I think this is the first time I've ever removed this in this game. We're getting somewhere now. There we go. Right, so how do I get to that bit in there? Uh, how do I get inside? It's, the, it's, the, it's the, the piece there. I, w I want that one. Nope, I can't I can't get to it from there. Okay, so we've got to take off the power steering pump. Am I going about this? The, I'm probably going about this the wrong way, aren't I? I'm, I'm probably going to have to do some other magic or something that, I don't, that I'm not even aware of in order to get this thing out. So we've got engine block there. What next? Um, oh, that one there. Crankshaft from under the car. Oh, and we've got to take the oil filter off by the look of it. Engine block. Yeah, oil filter. Okay, so we'll go from under the car and we can take off those other bits as well anyway. This is getting quite interesting. I've, I've, I'm sort of, I'm way into territory here that is completely completely new to me so we can remove that front exhaust section anyway and we can remove the oil filter so now if we come out and we go back and we lower it down can we actually get into that engine block so we go there and we go nope we still can't take engine oh nope so now we can take the cam oh that's got to be underneath as well camshaft is it camshaft crankshaft i don't know something shaft in underneath there and come up this way so we go suspension that's the oil pan there nope what if i got it what if i got to do to get that one out okay um i don't want to take that one off i want to take this one here crankshaft but where's is it is it showing anything in red in order for me to be able to remove it there's a radiator there nope it's not that Okay, let's try removing this oil pan. See what that does. Because I'm, I'm kind of getting lost now. I, I, don't, I don't really know where, where I'm going. You did not drain... <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. You did not drain the oil before disassembling the oil pan. Cleaning will cost you $100. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I, I, I'm really pleased with that. That's, that's absolutely awesome. Okay, uh... I want to go underneath, not spin. Ah, so may maybe I needed to do it like this. So, uh, rod cap. I can take that one off. Oh, okay, now, now we're doing something. I need to get that one, don't I? So I want to take that one off there. Right, and now piston with Conrad. 
crankshaft. Oh, so do I need to remove all of these to get the... the yeah, but I don't need to take the crankshaft out, do I? No, because i got to take all of those off. So now what? I'm so confused. I've, I'm, I'm in over my head now. I can't really return the car to the customer like this, though. Look, there's your car. Sorry, I got, I got a bit lost. Um, you'll be... Oh, I see. Right. There. So you, you can take it out like that. And is that the piece that I took... Is that the piece that I took out? Is that the piece that I wanted to take out? I don't know. Right. Um, I did do another one. Right. Piston with Conrod. Oh, I thought you said Conrad. I thought that's, that's a person's name, isn't it? Conrad? Um, no, Conrod it is. Right, so spark plug there. Well, we know which one that is. And then car is up. Right, exhaust manifold, front exhaust. And then we've got the piston piston rings. Right, so it's... Well, 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 how do you get the piston rings? What's that bit? Is that, is that another bit? Is that, like, inside? Uh, right, I, where, where's, where's the piston rings? Have I, have I gone too far? Have I done too much? Right, it looks... Oh, Oh, is it is it maybe on the on the piston itself? Is is there something that I can do to it? Um, ooh. oh oh no 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 no! I know I know I know. Uh, we, we go back into here. Hang on, I got this, I got this, I got this, and we go to park mount mode, and then we go. Oh, come up over here. Do it properly. There we go. Right, so then we go to that one. Piston rings! I found a piston rings. Right. Okay, now we can do this. Okay, so piston rings are at 80%. We can't do anything with those. So we've got everything off that we need to get off. And now we can just try and put it all back together again. This should be easy. And do we have any... Right, fuel rail DI. Is that from us? Camshaft. I'm not touching that. Uh, ooh. Fuel rail DI. I don't know if that's from us or not. I mean, if, it, if it's not, it's not. Um, we go for it. We repaired it. Now we're talking. And now I want to... Scroll through. All of these are in good condition. None of these are anything that we need to worry about, and those aren't anything that we need to worry about either. So we've got to just go and buy the buy the buy the bits. So I will buy the bits a moment, and then we can carry on. So I need to find first of all the piston rings. Um, piston ring. Oh, it's just normal piston rings, isn't it? So we just want one one of those. I need spark plug. Uh, so go spark and get one of those and then after that I'm not really sure so let me get these bits and then we can start putting the stuff back together I think I've got just about all of it the only problem is this is going to take quite a bit to put everything back together because I have completely stripped this engine out so I think what would be best is if we come back to this in our next episode we'll finish putting this car back together because I have literally stripped everything out of this vehicle now that fuel rail DI was actually the one that we repaired so we didn't have to buy that one but I got the rest of it it's ready to go but we will do this next time rather than today I know I normally try to get everything done I just don't think I got time to put everything back together because it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle at the moment so if you enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and we'll start from underneath here I think I, actually I yeah, I don't even know where to start. Actually, no, we need to we, we need to put the pistons in first and then go underneath, don't we? So, yeah. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.